the problem is in the connection. That's what you always say. First and foremost, our connection. And after us, all the rest of the people, if we'll connect strongly, they'll feel that they also have to do it. Subconsciously, that's what they'll feel. But alongside with it, we also have to disseminate physical materials and PR this theory of correction all over this method of correction. What do you mean by theory? Theory is when something unknown. No, why? Theory is not when something's unknown. Why? Theory is the theoretical part that you have to realize. You have to implement it in practice. Theory are the laws, the laws of nature, which are known, and behind which has to stand man in order to realize them. But actually, you see your students, even those who actually aren't supposed to ask about it, they're already supposed to feel it. Nonetheless, they ask, how can we bond? And you explain, but nonetheless, they say, we don't understand. Yes. And again and again, of course. For tens of thousands of years, we've developed egoistically. And only now, gradually, gradually, we're starting to shift from egoistic development to altruistic development, to integral development. And we can't immediately acknowledge this. We're interconnected with the entire world. This world is pulling us back by our legs, even though we're trying to grab a breath of air somehow. Nonetheless, they're pulling us back down. And it's a problem that we have to solve for many years yet to come, of course. What do you think? As a result of you suddenly wanting it, then everything changes. And you didn't even want it. You don't even know what you want. It's all a gradual evolutionary process of cause and consequence. It doesn't last as long as our evolution did for 15 billion years or but it has to take a few years. I'm participating in this since 1979. 30 years went by, 31 years. And it's truly a spiritual revolution what's going on, that a tremendous amount of people are listening, hearing, agree with it, in dozens of countries around the world starting to acknowledge, to understand, to adapt this method. So things are happening very quickly and that I'm constantly saying this and returning to the same things over and over and again, what can you do? It's impossible any other way because a person, he doesn't stay on the same level. When he enters the spiritual development, he changes from minute to minute. Every minute his desires change, his thoughts change, and these new desires and thoughts in him they demand a new answer, as if he didn't hear and doesn't know anything. And he's asking you anew, but why? And he's asking naively from the bottom of his heart. You can yell at him as much as you want, but he doesn't understand why you're yelling. He's asking you in truth as if he never asked before. Every moment a person is new, he's renewed. And thus I repeat it again and again. I who has zero patience for everything. Knowing all that, I repeat it with all the needed patience and understanding. You know me. And here, I react completely differently. Every day, practically one and the same, very similar words, because I put them, express them on the renewed desires and thoughts of my students.